Right, so we've installed the 4TB drive and now we need to switch it on for the moment of truth to see if it actually works. And it will also be good to see how many games we're able to install on the new drive. Ok, so the first time you turn it on you will get this message on screen which recognises the new drive and it will of course need formatting. It will then do a quick speed test on the drive just to ensure that it's compatible. Ok, now that's done we can go into the settings on the console and look under storage. From here you can see that the M.2 drive is listed here and it shows the full capacity as well. So this is a 4TB drive as we already know and it's great to see that the full 4TB are available so that's absolutely awesome.